But Leon Bridges was absolutely freaking amazing. I sobbed. He almost sounds better in person. Sometimes, well, like, I feel like they low-key like each other. But you are. I like Elon. He is weird, but, like, I always think you need someone like that. second week in a row <laughs> kind of well yeah well we're back we're back <laughs> <laughs> i think we're here well since last week though we've had an interesting week we went on a hike an eight mile hike um together the first one I, I, second. I, well no the first one of that distance oh yeah um the first one we did was like technically only like i think four four miles round trip so yeah just all uphill yeah <laughs> and this one was yeah, this one was a little, little. I wouldn't say a little harder, way harder. Eight miles is a good distance. <laughs> yeah. It's like just enough. I feel like 10 would be pushing it. Yeah, yeah. And my but legs are surprisingly like not sore today. I think we're getting used to it. Yeah, yet. I feel like, the, well, I also think it might be sore tomorrow. Like, you know, that delay. Uh, yeah, but my calves and my glutes are definitely going to be aching. Yeah. <laughs> but it was so cool. I mean, we do it on Tuesdays. We call them Trail, Trail Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Keeping the tradition going. And then we have a pizza and a beer at the end. Yeah. <laughs> but the, home. this weather has been so perfect. So taking advantage. Taking advantage. Yeah. Um, but then you also went to a concert. You went oh to gosh. Leon Bridges. Uh, the best. Honestly, I haven't been to a concert since before COVID. And I kept saying that over and over because I was like, oh, my God, I haven't been to a concert like since COVID, that was like almost what, yeah. I guess I haven't four, either. Four, five years ago. Yeah, I, yeah. I guess I. Haven't um. Either. So I was, I was giddy once, like <laughs> during yeah. the day, getting ready. I was like so excited. I was with my friend Courtney. Um, it was at the Fox. I've never been to a concert at the Fox. I think I've seen a play there, but it was great. We got you had to sit down the whole time. It's so hard to dance in the seats, but it was nice. Um. I will say, if you don't know, and you go into the Fox soon, they are cashless. They're still cashless from COVID. What? Oh, like they don't take the checks whole business or cards? Yeah, no, they don't take cash. Oh, they don't take cash. What yeah. the heck? So like, if you're going, it's fun facts to know. But Leon Bridges was absolutely freaking amazing. I sobbed. Um, he almost sounds better in person than like on the phone or recorded or whatever well, that's that's kind of the thing i have with uh, aurora i think her name I yeah i feel like when i listen to the live versions of her songs they sound way better than the like the pre-recorded ones like yeah the regular ones i don't know <clears throat> but honestly my favorite part was him singing river and then he literally came back after he was done and sang three more songs i love this man um dream come true I have all his records per Weston. He bought them for me what, last year, two years ago. I think it was the yeah. I think it was like two years ago at this point. But yeah, definitely recommend seeing him live. He was absolutely amazing. You know what's also crazy what? is I haven't. We haven't been back to Atlanta for three years. Well, three years. It's been three years. Less a little less than three years because been, we've been dating for three and a half and we lived in maybe. I guess it's maybe, been three years. Maybe maybe a little less, but I would say it's close to three years. Uh huh. I found it, that so crazy. It might be like almost three years. That's like, almost three years. Yeah, you, I think you're right because we left Atlanta. We were probably dating. I don't know, four or five months. Mm hmm. Dang, yeah, it might be. It might have been. Yeah, honestly, uh, it's still the city. Everything's still being constructed. <laughs> But what I did notice and what made me grateful for living here is there's so many buildings. In Atlanta? Obviously. Yeah. But like, is, yeah. there's just like. It's a city. It's, it's crazy to just go from like <laughs> but, woods all the time to like. like and huge, like seeing that like gray tall, fog, like you were saying, like yeah, the pollution it's, it's, and then the oh loudness. There's always something under construction, traffic. It's just crazy. You're on the highway and there's just buildings. <laughs> and if you're driving around here, it's just trees. Huh. Yeah, just like, it's like a just like culture and just shock. the amount, the amount of den like the density population. There's like people. There's yeah. so many people. When you we lived in now here like a year and a half, and mm. you get used to just being in the woods, quiet, quiet. Yeah. Not when you when we go in the town. There's not a bunch of construction all the time where it's like skyscrapers and look up. 
But then it's always good to go back because it's like a completely different. Oh, I didn't miss it, but yeah, yeah for sure. Because there's you have access to so many different you have restaurants, so, much stuff. so many so much different people, places to go, museums. We went to two coffee shops, two different ones. Oh shit! Just like ugh, missed it. Well, anyway. one thing we didn't miss this week is the politics that's been going on. It's been <laughs> very entertaining. Um, have you got? Have you you you, see, you saw the video of Trump and did you see the whole video? Trump and Biden of meeting for the first time. Um, just like six minutes of it. Okay. How long is it? It's it's pretty long, but we can just play the first little bit. Like, look at how like <laughs> awkward it must be. He was just calling. Both of them were just calling each other's families. For the last years. Biden was calling Trump a n- Nazi Hitler, comparing him to Hitler, and then. <laughs> And then, and then Trump's calling him Sleepy Joe. Like <laughs> now they have to sit next to each other. Demented. <laughs> but the, the funny thing is, it's like, do you think they're friends actually? No way. I think they're. I think they're probably really uncomfortable. You think so? Yeah, probably. So sometimes, well, like I feel like they low key like each other. Like, cause, cause I feel like Biden. Like like each other in the sense of like this is history like like yeah. Joe's probably like oh my god like this is gonna be like the cri-. like when you get that far in politics you're probably looking at it as a historical thing and then he's probably like thinking back like Reagan <laughs> Lincoln Biden's yeah. like this is the crazy probably like this is gonna be the craziest thing the p- kids are gonna learn in history Trump like pre- just has <laughs> so much more facial expressions than Biden does yeah Biden. <laughs> Biden has one facial expression right now. It's actually two. That is so funny. So they had to, they literally spent the last years just talking crap about each other. <laughs> More than years. <laughs> the last eight years. Eight be, years. Ah, uh, four years. Uh, so, okay, the president, it's four years terms. Mm-hmm. You got to think, but Biden campaigned probably a year before he was elected. So it's been probably five years of this talking mad shit. <laughs> uh, I wonder where Kamala is. All this. Oh, she's she's at home just sleeping at this With point. With the kiddos? Yeah, she she's probably like, oh, okay, I, I gotta get out of the limelight. Because <laughs> you see the craziness that going on in her campaign. They're in twenty five million dollars in debt. Her, oh, campaign. Yeah. <sighs> her campaign. I think you were showing me that the other day. Twenty five million dollars in debt. Or like how they lied about or just paid the celebrities to they endorse paid, them. Yeah, they, they, I, so yes and no. They paid. It's like they paid Oprah's team. And paid Oprah, Oprah to come do that event, like, like as yeah. if it was like an, like they weren't actually there organically. Yeah, they were doing there because they're, they're, and then they're there because they're getting paid. To, but the, I don't think Oprah physically put money in her pocket. I could be wrong, but I feel like she paid her team to set everything up. And yeah. So that way she didn't have to cover the costs, even though she's a billionaire. So it's like. But the craziest one was I. I check me if I'm wrong on this one. I'll, maybe I will have to cut this out. They paid a hundred thousand dollars to rebuild the call her daddy set near her instead of going to call her daddy. They rebuilt her Wait, set for a hundred thousand dollars. Kamala? Yeah. You remember she did the call her daddy yeah, podcast? Yeah, yeah. She didn't actually fly to her. They flew her to them and rebuilt her why? set for a hundred they're idiots. <laughs> That's why they spent over a billion dollars and lost, while Trump only spent like less than four hundred million dollars, where there's still a crap ton of money. Mm, that's why she lost. <laughs> She's stupid. No, not her. Whoever's her campaign manager. Yeah, like, I whoever, did see a lot of bad. No, like I'm not calling because acting like she's the one that's scheduling like doing like yeah. the producing on no her, her campaign <laughs> managers failed her. They spent a hundred oh well not hundreds a billion plus dollars because they're they need twenty million dollars to pay off their debt. So it's like you had a billion Damn. dollars and you had to pay for all these things i think people were just nickel and They're doming them doing all the wrong things all the time yeah, just I, racked up the debt i have a feeling if that was like michelle obama they yeah. wouldn't have had to pay for all the things but i think there's just there was a lack of like like confidence in her from like even people who typically would support her like oh, okay yeah i'll do that but you have to pay for my team to set up all the stuff you have to pay for us my production team when typically i bet you if it was someone else they yeah they i do feel like it'd be more exciting to be like oh you're gonna meet trump or it's funny how it's like i feel like like four years ago like you couldn't like really say like you like oh it'd be funny to meet trump like people would bash on you but now it's like 
it's like okay a little bit again yeah. i feel like no i always i always just expect to be bashed whether you're like talking about the president yeah anyway if you say anything kind of somewhat like, nice about trump you people get bashed. are just so oh my god people are just so angry people need tougher just, skin yeah and then they, or they say and you say anything everyone takes it personal or just you see there's some things that people post or repost and then i'll see comments underneath the crap i'm like geez just give it a break and it's weird because they also have like the fire going on behind them so it's like and they're all just squatted up in front of them yeah they're, they're, it's no room she's literally in the frame who is that uh i don't know probably someone <laughs> directing or whatever but i like how they're just completely like <laughs> like we we're just throwing under the rug how like everyone around biden and all like even kamala for the last four months, we're saying he was fine. But then as soon as they, he does a debate and does bad, we have to forget that all of them were like literally diehard. Like, oh, he's the sharpest he's ever been. But then all of a sudden now it's like uh, everyone's, it's like, That's okay. what's scary. You're just like brainwashed to think of, to always go with one answer. I know. Until the answer's different. And But then it's like, People don't want, won't hold their like they won't hold them accountable no. for lying to no, them for but the like you're definitely <laughs> switching over once the answer is different. Like you know like if I mean? if they would if they were honest about it, I bet you Trump would have <laughs> lost because they would have had a whole like year or two of campaigning yeah. a different person other than Biden. But they spent the last year campaigning for Biden and then four months for Kamala because they had the they didn't couldn't be honest to the American people. I wonder people. when like the give up time was. And they're just like, Ugh. yo, there, there was, <laughs> like there was screwed. insiders I've been reading that they had inside polls, like the campaign was do, hires people to do polls for their campaign so they could see how they're doing. Yeah, there was polls saying he would have lost. That's why he dropped out by four hundred electoral votes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only time he went he's like oh what crap a four out he didn't he didn't want to probably get blown out like that he's like yeah, okay no. you know what kamala here I'm, you go i'm a little too old you know what <laughs> <laughs> i'm just gonna take the knee yeah. wave the white flag you're gonna come in here you're gonna lose but you're not gonna lose uh, as bad you're only gonna lose 312 to what is it 295 <laughs> it's just so funny how we're just gonna forget that they just lied about so much stuff to us and then if they, Some they, people will never forget. Some people, it's already over the heads. It's already over our heads. Yeah, but what I what I'm liking is that they announced Tulsi Gabbard as the director of national intelligence. She's someone I've been supporting since she's been a Democrat. So this is her road to become <laughs> the president. I hope. I hope. We hope. I hope because she she I, I've been uh, I've been following her since she like before she even ran for president in 2020. Um, it would that be 2026. 2027? 2028. 2028. Yeah. It's 2024. Yep. <laughs> and the next guy, that this one's a surprising one, Matt Gates as Trump's attorney general. I'm not really sure what attorney general does, but it sounds yeah. like something with law. And then you brought up the fact that he has some, some he has creepy little... Of, <laughs> yeah, he has a pass of... What, I feel like well, you most said it was everyone... Like, is in trouble forward. Yeah, so <laughs> he he might have attend a few Diddy parties. Yeah, <laughs> I guess the team the team you versions of Diddy parties. Like I don't think he was going to the nice ones. It sounded like he was at some like supporters some party. Some old. Yeah, some old some guys. Some young. Yeah, some yo old guys with young people there. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it, 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 it was a lobbyist of his, a guy who. And he, then I'm he's pretty sure with. he got subpoenaed. Yeah, because the guy that his buddy yeah. got arrested is actually serving. For essentially paying for hookers. He is serving? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, damn. Well. Congrats, Matt Gates. Such a nice <laughs> lineup. Such a nice lineup um, that we have here. And then <laughs> then he announced his borders are. Uh, I don't know the guy's name. I don't. Uh, maybe I'll pause it and put the, his guy's face right here. But um, yeah. uh, he, he has a video with AOC. And so the recommendation... Of the many that you recommended, you recommended family separation. I recommended zero tolerance. Which includes family separation. The same as is whenever you a citizen parent gets arrested when they're with a child. Zero tolerance was interpreted as the policy that separated children from their If parents. I get arrested for DUI and I have a young child in a car, I'm gonna be separated. When I was a police officer in New York and I arrested a father for domestic violence, I separate that Mr. Holman, with all due respect, legal asylees 
are not charged with any crime. When you're in the country illegally, it's violation 8 United States Code 1325. Seeking asylum is legal. If you want to seek asylum, go through the port of entry, do it the legal way. The Attorney General of the United States has made that clear. Okay. Going back and forth about with AOC and Congress about like deporting people. Yeah. And he's a straight savage when it comes to like deporting people. He's, he's like Lily straight up said like, uh, with AOC saying like, oh yeah, we'll we'll deport the whole family. Way to carry out mass deportation without separating families? Of course there is. Families can be deported together. <laughs> the families will go together, of course. <laughs> like, we're not just deporting one of them. No problem. Yeah, yeah. but he says it in the most monotone voice, like he's like has Straight no to soul. The point. But yeah. um, but you need someone like that in that position because like you're dealing you when like you can't like if you have to deport a whole family, which is I so, would me if I was it's like work is work and your feelings I, are feelings like, and that place sucks. I would be like please just don't show me the picture of the family. <laughs> but like this guy is like it's like what's the get him out of here? <laughs> oh gosh, get him out of here. Yeah no. But you need you need you see like you need people like that in certain like positions. not like me a wuss. I yeah would yeah yeah. Be like, like all five I'm like oh, fuck, you let them in okay <laughs> yeah like, being, like, look at her face man. yeah Jeez. come on but, but we're acting like he's like sitting in a desk and like <laughs> doing it one by one himself <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine if there's a lot that's like his job he just like <laughs> his, that's bad he's, that's he's sitting bad. in a chair just <laughs> take them all yeah. <laughs> oh man not um, funny this one's the best one, though. Vivek and Elon Musk is now the head of a new agency called Department of Government Efficiency, Doge. Okay, the first, when I first saw something about that, uh, the first comment I saw on it was, uh, he ain't even American. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't, you can, you could be a congressman, you don't, he, I, well, actually, you no, need to be a I citizen. Know, it's just like, that's literally the first thing I see after Yeah. But it's funny he's ooh. not American, but all his stuff he's he like his cars Tesla's that's an American yeah. made car. Te say what you want. I like Elon. I like he Elon is too. weird. He is weird, but like like he is, like I've always I always think you need someone like that. That's just yeah. like out of this. Well, he has Asperger's. World. You know that, right? Yeah. So it's like w he gets a lot of hate. Yeah. Like he's the one like per special needs person that you, it's okay to make fun of. Like you know, and it's, uh, like if anyone ha else had Asperger's and. <laughs> you would be like, oh, you know, let him, let him do his thing. Oh no! <laughs> but he happens to also be the richest man in the world too. So that because wasn't has... he like very, very shy when he was young, like really, oh, really shy. I think I, I assume so. I've seen videos back of in the day. Like, yeah, kind of I don't know. I love. I think I love him. I love him. <laughs> 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 he just does what he wants. Well, it used to be he cool to does be, what he wants. It used to be cool to be, like him because like um, he used to be a Democrat. Like yeah. he used to like his things clean energy. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. why he made Tesla. But then now. Because he's not a Democrat, you, he's not cool anymore. But um, switching sides. Yeah. Well, that, <laughs> you know how crazy it would be if Republicans had the first female president with Tulsi. It'd be cool if like the president cars were like Teslas, like how they get escorted places. They. And I he, think like, does a fleet of all Teslas. This might be wrong, but I, I think the U.S. government and Biden's administration was trying to work with Tesla the with. To do like cop cars and stuff like that is i mean they're you fast, know how fast those? yeah Woo, man <laughs> i think i've seen a tesla cop car i'm pretty sure i have and i'm pretty sure i talked about it for like two weeks but yeah i think um, you saw a tesla was it no no that's not a cyber truck. um what's it called truck. and the, speaking of tesla do you see did you see that motorcycle the motorcycle he's building you sure, sure you say that the Motors. motor, motor, <laughs> motorcycle motorcycle <laughs> motor <laughs> motorcycle Motorcycle. Motorcycle. A Tesla motorcycle. She can hear herself. <laughs> I love these things. Yeah, yeah. We need to get nicer ones eventually, but these ones are off Timu. <laughs> I mean, gosh, are they? Yeah, it was like 17 bucks for both of these. Pretty nice. Honestly, they, look, I mean, they make us look giving official. Us, probably giving us like brain cancer or something. Yeah, but... don't worry about it. Or making us smarter. Yeah. Just like um, charging two batteries. <laughs> but the, before we move on with that... I, I, I feel like growing up, like we, everyone, it was okay to, to say like the government was corrupt. Yeah. Like we like, okay, politicians are corrupt. There's a lot of, you know, 
where's all the money going? Why, why are we funding all these wars? The government's overspending. Like, that's a pretty common thing that everyone agrees upon. Yeah. But now I see people complaining about Vivek and Elon Musk be like, oh, they're going to get rid of so many things. They're going to cut so many stuff. They're they're just going to break, like, take away all the regulations and stuff like that when it comes to businesses. I don't think that's what they're going to do. I don't think so. And even if they did, it's been a consensus amongst all Americans that we need to cut down our spending. And <laughs> there's, I, I think it was like, I saw 60 Minutes uh, a while ago and they're uh, doing a segment on uh, the CIA and stuff like that. Yeah. And there's $52 billion in the American budget that's unaccounted for every year. $52 billion. They're like, eh, you know what? You don't know where this where it is, but we, you know. Remember when we were like... <laughs> Do they just put up, get on their phone oh, yeah. and look at an app and see the budget like, like, for America? Like, does Trump and Biden, <laughs> does the president have, like, an American bank account where, like, you can just log in, like, oh, like a Wells Fargo's app, but it's America's money? <laughs> That'd be so funny. You know how stressful that would be? Yeah. You'd see how much... You'd probably check it It would be in the, the negatives. Time. Yeah. Just <laughs> read the whole time you're in office. We're in, like, $33 billion, <laughs> trillion dollars in debt. Like... I think it's more than that at this point, but the banker's worried. <laughs> yeah, it's like he, he's like, uh, you know what? I think again? I could send this. <laughs> you could sell other countries. Like, like the reason why we're talking about this because I think we were sending money to each other and then uh, watching the news or something like that. But um, it's like when when we send money to countries or like if a country sends money to us, like yeah. how how are we receiving that money? Like, is it's just it just a wire transfer? But it goes to but w- America's bank. Is Wells Fargo like? Do we use Wells Fargo as our bank account? Or do we use? Is there an American bank? Yeah, that's what I like. I don't know. This is probably something we could look up right now. I think there's but- older <laughs> banks though. Like I feel like Bank of Bank of America is old, okay. but there's other old I'm gonna look other this up. older banks rather than. I doubt they're in a bank though. Does there's like other older banks rather than like Wells Fargo, Bank oh of America. God. Do you remember um, Golden Mutual or Washington Mutual? Isn't that Chase? You see how they just get debooted? Uh, Washington Mutual. That was the first bank account I ever had when I was like, what, less than elementary school, and you're just donating money. Did you ever do that? Washington Mutual. Yes, the U.S. government has multiple bank accounts, no. including the Treasury General account (TGA) and the Treasury Managed accounts. So, I guess it's just like our like it's they have their own like if they don't use banks, they have a federal bank that's for them. Of course, they have their own bank. Well, does I wonder if that bank has an app? Like, does Trump like log into an app on his phone? <laughs> <laughs> or how do I communicate? Calls only? Yeah, Emails? Yeah. Weird. Um, anyway. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Um, what did you want to talk about that uh, <laughs> Because. Oh, yeah, it's his anniversary. The, it's his anniversary with his wife. And I honestly love every post he does about her. They're always so funny and personal. But he posted one with T-Pain. And he redid, what was that song? Is it Buy You a Drink? Yeah, no. But it's, uh, Apple. No? no, what song is it? I think it might have been. Buy You a Drink, but he sings. I don't have Instagram on. on <laughs> oh my Not gosh. Like, let me let me play it on my phone and we'll, keep, we'll throw it up there. <laughs> it's, um, it's just so lame and so funny and corny. Okay, so no, it bad. is... Get Low. Oh, Get Low. Go. Was playing when I first met Priscilla at a college party. So every year we listen to it on our dating anniversary. A dating anniversary? Told you. What a prick. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this year I worked with T Pain on our own version of this lyrical masterpiece. Sound on for the track and also available on Spotify. Love you, P. So, the first thing that comes to the mind is the social network. That movie is a goddamn lie. Remember he had that girlfriend in there? Was not Asian. And they've been dating forever. Was she Asian? <laughs> no, she was not. Are you, she doesn't have to be Asian. 
I mean, if there's going to be act, and then they, they broke up too, and that and <laughs> could have been the girlfriend before her. Okay, we nothing of that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, though. It's so good. Um, the last subject was Leon Bridges, but we covered that in the beginning. Uh, oh, you want to hear a fun fact? Yeah. So I'm, we're sitting on the couch uh, after I came back from Leon Bridges in Atlanta, and Courtney texts me a picture on Instagram, and it's Leon Bridges in this record store at Five Points, and we were literally down there walking like around recently the day of his concert he was down in little five points signing records at the record store in little five points and you guys were just there and we were literally down there before the concert and we walked past the record store that he's in and we were like oh it looks so fucking yeah. closed in there like it's dark as hell like it looks closed like hey, we're not going in there and just kept walking. Meanwhile, he's in there signing records, and we That's missed how they the closed whole it. They closed thing. it so people don't come in there. Oh my god, I was so mad. I was just like, let's just uh, put it in your mind, just program your mind that did that did not happen, because, or that you were there, or like it, just it, it create didn't a happen. memory. I didn't miss him. I didn't walk past him on the on the. I could have walked in the freaking door and <laughs> saw Leon Bridges signing records. Oh my god. I was gutted. And you know, but when we got out of the car, what? there were two people, two girls holding up signed records, taking pictures. And, and we were just, like, oh, that's so funny. Just kept going. Didn't think about it at all. Gotta think if you want. <laughs> Didn't well, think about it at all. Yeah. yeah, you guys fucked up there. That was horrible. And then I saw on Well, his, I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty, so it's like, uh, I think that's the right he thing. He did post about it. I didn't check it. Okay. Like so his like, story. Yeah. I would have been, stupid. you should have been looking at it all day. But mm. you said the openers were pretty good. The openers were good. Uh, Gutierrez, I think his name. It's like the Gutierrez it's, brothers. It's always they good when the, so there's a good, good opener. Oh my God. They played for probably an hour and a half. They played for like an hour. I went to Red Hot Chili Peppers with my dad, and they literally um, had some Wait, emo see. Asian girls open for them. Really? All the music was in Korean, and I didn't understand one thing. And it was, and they were like on stilts, and I was like, "Why are they having these people open for them?" Okay, so they're literally called Hermanos Gutierrez, so the Gutierrez brothers, right? Mm-hmm. They are mm-hmm. so good. Um, it's like vibey, spiritual Western vibe, and they barely talk. It's just tunes. So they're just, just sitting there listening to them breathe. It's they don't guitar, talk. Guitar, guitar. They're just playing the guitar. And they're and not they, t- singing. No. What the hell? They're just playing the guitar. Just soulful music, and it was absolutely amazing. Um, I guess it's like kind of elevator music, getting people and get honestly, into their seats. Their voices are so sexy. Wait, I thought they don't. T- they don't say anything. I mean, they obviously talk, and they say, "This is my brother next to me." Um, <laughs> <laughs> they talk in this like very just cowboy-esque yeah. bad boy voice this is my brother next to me and uh, just smooth yeah, yeah can't and do. we uh you said they're hispanic yeah and we are this is my brother next to me we love each other we love the music we play they sound gay it's <laughs> <laughs> no anyway um they're amazing check them out because love them this, I knew they were going on tour with them, but I didn't know they would play for like an hour and freaking 30 minutes, but it was nice. It got you in like a mellow zone Okay. before hitting hit. hit like Cause when you, when you listen down. to Leon Bridges, like you gotta be in like, you gotta be in the mood. he does have moving music too. Oh yeah, he does. So he has an old soul. Oh my God. There were so many old people there. That's I what loved I was it. I loved it. I'm losing my breath right now. I was literally like, I should have brought my mom. But yeah, he's like the he's like the type of artist that you show someone that's old, like mm-hmm. in their sixties or seventies, and, they, like, and they're like, "Oh, he sounds like my day." Yeah, there was a really really old people behind us. This couple and this lady was like, "I don't know any of the songs, but I love them." <laughs> and I could not. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, that was amazing. I really want to go to concert again. Well, that's what we plan um, on doing, I guess, and, or a cruise. We were talking and about going to Utopia. Oh, and a cruise. Utopia of the Seas. 
That looks That's awesome. Or another Carnival cruise. Those women, honestly, I've gone on Royal Caribbean and Carnival. Love Carnival more. More of a party. You know who would be insane seeing in person? Teddy Swims. Oh, that guy. That's the he guy, the insane. white guy with all the tattoos. Yeah. Right, right? Yeah. I feel like he'd be crazy. He was like. I want some crying music, man. I want to cry. Like, I love. Ooh, I love feeling yeah. it. I was literally just like. Ah! Yeah, on our hike. You're like, oh, this would be a good place to crash. <laughs> <laughs> what? The? Look, you know, happy this tears, is, bella tears. Just, it ooh. sounded like sad That's tears. A, no, you... just let the emotions flow. Oh, man, I was so happy at Leon Bridges. I love him. Wow. I, I cried. I was sobbing. Okay, sobbing. And then I saw the couple in front of me. I was like, man, I wish I had my boyfriend. But I wasn't I, invited. True. I didn't invite you off of one thing. I played him in the car one time and you turned him off. Oh my god! No, you, I That's, bought you like three hours. I know, and we but would, you disrespected. No, I, you disrespected. You I was an talking invite. and you put the music on, <laughs> and so I turned it down. Anyway, I needed a girls' night. Yeah, you did. That's why I wasn't invited. It was a girls' night. That's not because I turned down stuff making stuff. Up. No, but you did, and I was like, oh, I'm not even Yo. gonna tell him I'm going. What? The, you yeah. knew. I, I've known for months you were going. I know, but I waited like a week, two weeks to tell you. Oh, once it was already And then playing. I actually double booked the weekend, so that was well, my that's fault That's why you for told Because <laughs> we were supposed to go celebrate my mom's birthday, but then you booked yeah. a concert, and that, that really solidified me, and I hope my mom's listening that you don't like her. You're such a <laughs> sh- <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>